I wanted to pass along a story that was told to me by my uncle. He passed away a few years ago, and I think it's important that what he witnessed, what he experienced, should be shared with the world. But before that, I need to tell you up front, there are some very, very disturbing aspects to this story. So consider yourself warned. This story goes back to 1957, the year that Hurricane Audrey, one of the deadliest tropical cyclones in U.S. history, devastated the southwestern Louisiana coast. My uncle said that there were many folks down in the bayous that were killed and the survivors went out trying to recover bodies. He and some others who had friends in that area participated in recovery efforts. He said that at some point, he broke off from his group, which he admitted wasn't a smart thing to do. But he came up to a big cypress, and about 25 feet up, he saw what looked to him to be a gigantic black wolf sitting on a branch, eating the body of a child. From the clothing remnants and the length of the hair, it looked to him like a little girl, maybe 10 years old. He said he reached for his rifle and shot the thing three times with 35 caliber Winchester shells. He said you could see the impact as each thud caused water to spray off the thing's body. After the third shot, it looked dead at him with pale yellow eyes, full in the face, and growled. And then it went right back to eating, now licking its lips with slurping and sucking sounds, making the sight even more gruesome. He said he hauled ass out of there. He was haunted by the thought of creatures like that foraging the storm struck by you for the flesh of a dead person to feast on. But somehow he found the courage to go back the next day. He said that the thing had taken one of the child's thigh bones and jammed it hard into the base of the tree and hung the torso stripped clean of flesh and the child's head which was untouched so he could clearly see her face all hung there for him to find made it very clear that these were cold-hearted evil calculating monsters not just animals that was in 1957. My uncle had been holding this inside of him for 50 years until he told it to me in 2007. A story about the aftermath of a natural disaster and the story of a monster. <laughs>